Hey everyone, welcome back to re and Revive Physical Therapy. I'm Dr. Luo and this is Griffin. He's our videographer doing a great job in some of our recent videos. Um, and today, he came in with a little bit of pain on the bottom of his foot. So maybe he has some plantar fasciitis. So we're gonna tape his foot and show you how to tape a foot for plantar fasciitis. So this test, so go ahead and rotate, hands on his waist and he's gonna rotate. And as he rotates to each side, we can see how his arch reconstitutes. Or if it drops too much. Okay, I also want you to do a little squat, so. Again, as deep as you can. Okay, and we can really see a difference there in the arches. Okay, great. Okay, so we're gonna take Griffin's foot. Um, we saw that his foot was really collapsing on this side, so we're gonna help him support his own arch by lifting this bone called the navicular. So you can find it sort of in the apex of the arch here not necessarily in the center of his foot, but sort of behind it, and you can palpate or feel for this bone here. Um, so we're gonna support it up like this. Um, and we do want him in neutral, so we don't want him to be this way or this way, but kind of right in Taylor, sub -Taylor neutral here. Um, and we can also help him reconstitute his arch by lifting his big toe. You see the arch goes up when we lift his big toe like that. Um, okay, so very simple taping method. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take coverall, right? Um, this is gonna go directly on the skin, and we have Luco tape here, which is not gonna go directly on the skin because it will pull hairs out. Very sticky, uh, does not stretch. So um, we're gonna take some coverall, and I'm going to cut it to an appropriate length so that it kind of goes from the midfoot all the way to the top of the foot like this. So from the midfoot here all the way to the top, that's gonna be about two and a half squares here. Okay, just leave that there. All right, so this is gonna go from under here to here. Now, <clears throat> The point of this taping really is to help him support the arch. Uh, it's not a permanent solution, it is temporary, but it should give some relief from plantar fasciitis because we are supporting this arch. Now, there are three different arches in the foot. The medial longitudinal arch, which is from here to here, the lateral longitudinal arch, and then the transverse arch, which is uh, this way across the toes. Um, so this is really good for supporting the longitudinal arches, um, specifically the medial one. There's also a muscle that runs from the back of the calf behind the medial malleolus here and really uh, creates a web and it performs uh, an arching motion for the foot. So this also can take stress off of uh, this tendon if you're getting a little pain here, if you're having some posterior tibialis tendonitis. Uh, then uh, that muscle doesn't work so hard, have to work so hard um, with this tape. So I'm gonna take uh, the first layer of Luco tape. So Luco tape, very sticky as you can see, um, does not like to stretch at all pretty much. Um, so we're gonna start from under here. So I'm gonna attach it to the bottom of the Luco tape and I can rub it, a little heat will increase the adhesiveness. Then I want to stretch it up here. Now, before I put this tape down, I'm going to make sure that his ankle is in subtalar neutral. So I'm going to feel here, make sure it's not out like this, out like this, but neutral like this. Okay, so now that I have him in neutral position, I'm going to stretch my glucose tape over like this. And um, it doesn't have to be so stretched the first time. You don't need a lot of tension on it the first layer. This is sort of just the base. 
giving some structural support. Now for the second layer, I really want to tension it because I want to give this bone uh, a support up, right? So I'm going to attach it here. And then I'm going to pull really hard. So making sure he's still in subtalar neutral, I'm going to have him pull it really hard, get this nice stickiness here, and then back down like that. So let's go back, do those tests, and see how his foot holds up against now his own weight and squatting and stuff. Okay, so now that we've taped Griffin's foot um, and seen how it performed with the tests, you know, it really stayed constituted during that squat and we saw that it had a nice smooth motion of supination and pronation during the hip rotation test. So, Griffin, how does it feel? Yeah, it definitely feels more supported. Um, while I was walking, um, just a little bit after shooting this, it definitely felt like it had more arch support. I could feel the arch more in my foot. So I'm excited to walk with it a little bit more after this and see how it holds up. Cool. All right. So yeah, Griffin will let us know. Um, definitely still need a little bit of strengthening. Cannot rely on tape always to support your arch. You need to rely on your own muscles. But thanks for watching. Uh, leave us a like on YouTube. Uh, comment below. Tell us what you think. Um, and if you would like to see more taping videos, we'd love to make them. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. Hit that bell. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.